Good morning guys, James Graves here and yes, back for another vlog. That's two in a row now, a new record I think. Well, not quite actually, but it, it's been a minute. So if you're wondering why the sudden transition to vlogs, why the change of pace if you will, well, I just moved house as you would have seen if you watched last week's video. And I don't really have a permanent YouTube setup at the moment, anywhere to film my videos. So right now, I'm just there's a lot going on, I'm moving around a lot. And I just thought it's best why not to bring you guys on that journey with me. And to be honest, I'm actually enjoying the change of pace, the chance to be a little bit more creative with my videos. Vlogs are actually, actually really hard to make, a lot harder than a standard structured tutorial. So at the moment, I'm just enjoying that creative process and I'm hoping that you guys are as well. And one of the best things about being back in the country, being back where I grew up, is you can just walk in like five minutes in any direction and be at any one of a number of different footpaths and places that you can walk and being in nature. There's a river right there. I, just, I miss that in the city. I had that for seven years. There's a big field just down this track that we found the other evening and it's just completely bright yellow. Like it's the perfect August field. And I've been wanting to capture it at sunrise for a long time now. I wanted to get a time lapse of it over the field as the sun came up. So we got up here at 6.30 this morning to come down here for a seven o'clock sunrise and capture the time lapse. It will be perfect. And well, this has happened. We've Since we're up anyway, we thought we'd come out for a walk, enjoy the fresh air, and just get a head start on the day. Uh, I'm actually going to meet my partner down here because we walked down together, walked 10 minutes down the road, down the hill, and then realized that I forgot my SD card. So I had to then run back up the hill, and yeah, now I'm hot, tired, and my legs feel like jelly. And there she is, right over there. So here we are, the yellow field as promised, although I must admit it did look a bit better the other day. I think the farmer's been on here just tearing it up with the tractor, just mobbing, as they say in Canada, I think, mobbing across the field. So as I said, there's a lot going on at the moment, and I don't really have a permanent place to film right now in the house, because I've just moved in. So, one of the things I wanted to do today was just build myself a studio, somewhere that I can edit, somewhere that I can film. But also my partner Lisa, who you're about to meet, uh, is also a YouTuber, she does book, book things, book blog, book reviews, something to do with books. So she'll need a place to edit as well and somewhere to film. So the plan is to build two studios today in the same room, different computers, different shelving, but the same camera and the same light, but in different places and the same microphone but in different places. So that's what's going to be coming up later. I got creeped up on the other side of the field. Why did you get creeped out? So, there was a lone person there and they looked... I don't know. We watched a horror movie last night. I'm scared. <laughs> it's daytime. <laughs> Nothing bad happens in the day. So guys, welcome to my new studio, workspace, editing corner, whatever you call it. As you can see, it's a little bit bare, there's nothing on the walls, there's nothing in the background, nothing to make this interesting or homely or anywhere to put all my stuff. So today we've got a lot of work to do, we've got to put up some shelves, put the monitors on the wall, finish this desk, put up a stand for my light, and that's just for my workspace. But first, I've got to do exactly the same thing on Lisa's side.
Now, if you ever buy furniture or shelving brackets or anything that you need to mount to the wall, I'd recommend always using your own wall plugs and your own screws. The wall plugs that they give you are just trash, they're too small, they don't really work very well. So get yourself some decent brown ones. And the screws, I've already broken two heads off already and stripped another one. They're just trash. I mean, unfortunately on this time I've had to use the black ones because I've got black brackets and I wanted them to blend in. But in reality, I would usually always use my own screws. So that's something to think of, especially if it's something that's bearing a lot of weight. You're better off getting your own screws and wall plugs. Switch to using my own screws because those other ones really just don't cut it. Well, we've got three lots of shelves done. I was going to go four, but actually I've got a few sets of little drawers that will fit perfectly up here. So I want to try those out first and decide whether I want to keep it at three, or if I go four, or if I go three and a half. We'll see later. One more thing I wanted to get done before the end of today is, as you can see, my desk is only half complete. This was originally actually just a straight black desk that went along that back wall, but I added this L piece on with timber so that I had an extra working space and sort of nicely wrapped around the corner. But I ran out of wood, so today I just want to finish this side off, so then I've got a working complete desk. Well, as you can see, it's a new day. Didn't manage to get the desk done last night. As soon as I started, I had a surprise ambush from family, which was nice, but I didn't, didn't manage to do what I wanted to do. But I wanted you guys to see the final product, so I want to quickly get the desk done this morning before I got to get to work. As you can see, one half is already done. I'm going for a staggered join here, rather than just having a 45 or a plain butt joint. To me, this just looks the best. Now, the first piece here is just a little bit tricky because of this window sill that's sticking out but I want my wood to come out over the top of that because I don't want to see it. So what I've done this morning is just cut a piece of wood on the table saw quickly, just to make that channel so that will just sit nicely over the top. I've also just cut out a little notch with the jigsaw to allow the cables to pass through. In terms of cable management, I've just screwed on this tiny little L bracket here, which I've zip tied the cables to, and nothing fancy to hide those. I'm just going to simply put the speaker right in front of them. I've got to admit that worked out rather nicely. Now if you're wondering where I get my wood from, this is just cheap studding timber, 4x2 or 2x4 as you guys call it across the pond. All you have to do is burn it and oil it. If you want an exact step by step of how I do this finish, check out my earlier video called How to Make Wood Look Rustic. So here we are, got there in the end. As you can see, I've added a couple of sets of drawers up here just to hold all my knickknacks and another set of shelves around the top just to store bigger things like tripods and steady cams and all that sort of stuff. In general, I'm really happy with how the desk turned out. I think it looked really nice. Pleasantly surprised with how my cable management turned out. You can't actually see any of the wires that go down behind that speaker there, just hidden nicely. Although this keyboard and mouse wires are upsetting me a little bit, so I think I'm going to have to get wireless versions of those. A nice little addition is this cheap Niwa mic arm, which I can use if I'm doing voiceovers at my desk, or if I'm filming at my desk, I can actually just pull it out like I did a minute ago and use that as a boom arm. 
Also got a Manfrotto friction arm up here, which originally I'd bought for setting up my camera in front of the desk, but I found out pretty quickly a minute ago when I tried to film a top down that it actually works out really well as a top down rig. So I think I'm just gonna leave that there. Now you might've noticed that about halfway through that video, the quality of the lighting drastically increased. That's because I just added this simple ceiling mount arm for my softbox, which we can pivot around and both use for filming our videos. As you can see, Lisa wasted no time filling up her shelves with books. So it's time to populate mine and then we can finish this video off. Well guys, here we are. The studio is pretty much complete except for some lighting. Apologize for the trashy lighting I've got up there right now. I've just got one of my cheap LED lights up there and I've dropped in one of those multicolored LED bulbs in behind so I can kind of play around with that as well. In terms of audio, I'm super happy with my cheap low-tech solution. It actually works really, really well and I'm hoping the audio sounds a lot better for it. I guess we'll see. But anyway, you're probably wondering, James, why are you spending all this time on a studio that looks good on camera when you should be filming in a workshop? And you would have seen me in a workshop earlier. That's actually my dad's that I was borrowing. He now lives very nearby, so I can use that. And that's probably what I'm going to be using in the near future. Because with my current setup, I just don't have a workshop just yet. Hopefully it's going to be coming soon. But right now, I'm just going to be in and out of his workshop. So it might be that I do have to film some of my videos in this studio. Which is why I wanted to spend the time so that you've got something good to look at and I've got a nice place to work. So of course what you were wondering is does this mean that the workshop tutorials, the workshop videos are over? No, definitely not. As I've said before, the style of content might be changing just a little bit, the setup's going to be changing, but I promise you the same information is going to be there. And I'm still going to produce the same tutorials, the same videos that I would have produced anyway. It's just going to be a slightly different setting and perhaps a slightly different style. But I see this as a great thing for the channel. I've got all sorts of tools still. In fact, I've got even more than I had before because my dad's got three workshops. So there's a lot more that can be done and hopefully these videos are just going to keep getting better and better. And that is my goal, to make a better video every single week. So anyway, that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop it a like. It really does help out and make a big difference to this channel so that we can reach more and more people and build this community. Don't forget to comment below what you want to see next time. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to get notifications of my new videos every single week. I appreciate this is probably quite a long one, so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.